inside, all together, warm and solid and safe on the longest night of the year. It's a tradition. Andrew holds his dinner every year. It's reassuring. It tells them that the worst is over, that the daylight's on its way back, that they're going to make it. That's what they tell themselves. Guardate. Andrew's going to raise a toast to each of them. friends, Myra and Barney, to, he's forgotten his name, it's Daffodil. Um, the show itself isn't, isn't about Naples and it's, and it's not really about anywhere specific, it, it's, it's I think a, um, a universal story about the simple hopes and fears that everybody has in their lives. Um, and I wanted to make a show that was like that and that had a, a kind of international aspect to it because, because for me it's important not to, tr not to try and make work about something that I don't understand and I felt that I didn't really know enough about Naples to make a show about Naples. It was enough to work with Italian actors and, and English actors, British actors, and to see what came out of that relationship and also what came out of the relationship um, with the festival. <laughs> There's solo un po' di saliva. E lo che ho sbagliato. And we work with actors, designers, video designers, art, music, musicians and composers, and we really it's like writing in three dimensions. We have all of these people in a room together and we improvise, we play, um, we begin to establish a language that, uh, and, and a story begins to emerge. Someone knowing something that someone else doesn't know and the power in that relationship and also the idea of looking at people behind, looking at people through a window. Keeping the night out. And I knew that I wanted to try and make a piece where you didn't hear the actors talking. So all you could hear, you can see that they're talking, but you get when you're watching the show. So you, you know that the actors are talking, but you can't hear what they're saying. They, they, they're acting in a very natural way, but they're taking away their voice. So they're doing everything that I'm doing now. And it was a very hard thing to do at first, um, because it was a leap of faith for the actors. A lot of them looked at me like I was crazy when I asked them to, to try and do this. And what's great about this festival is that you, you look around and you see a lot of the work that's happening, it's not safe at all, it's risky. And Renato is, is someone who's prepared um, to take risks. And in his position, that's a very brave thing to do because there's a lot of pressure on him. But he's prepared to take risks and give artists the opportunity to, to experiment. And I believe that then that's when you get the best work. That's when you get the most interesting, the most challenging and also the most entertaining work. I wish I could 
wish I was alive again. No. Not really.